Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the channel. So today I got another strange one here for my channel actually, but it's kind of cool because this is actually a sewer cam with a, with a monitor, the whole unit, all enclosed in one unit. And the cool part about this is you can use it on sewers, any kind of pipe. You can use this camera for all kinds of different things besides that. Um, there'll probably be even something a person could use it on a motorcycle for. But you need to get down into a tight spot and look and see what you got going on. And this thing ought to do the trick. So let's unbox this thing and check it out. Now this is sent to me by Vivor. And I'm not getting paid a dime for this. I will put an Amazon link below where you can check it out. But they just sent it to me to review, so I'm not getting paid anything for it. Just my little disclosure there. So this should be pretty cool. I've actually never had one, and I kind of thought it might be neat to uh, review this thing. So basically, in the box here, I'll take the stuff out, uh, put the camera here where you can see it a little better. It's going to be a lot better. So it's actually packed really nice. I mean, all the stuff is packed in nice heavy foam and then bubble wrap but let's get it out of the box okay so check this out actually really cool this is a nice little case has their brand name up here us version obviously and this is 100 foot cable that's crazy this thing will reach a long ways really cool so it does come with this nice stand and you can take this stand you can either set it like this or you can actually set it up like that depending on how you want to use it you can lay it down to reel out it does have this nice lock right here and just to keep it from moving once you get it all rolled back up and you don't want this rolling out if you're hauling around put this little lock clip right here it's like a carabiner and that will stop this just from rolling while you're moving it around storing it whatever it has a nice handle right here on the case but like i say this is like a pelican style case with a little breather vent right here over here we have the camera itself. I'm going to have to cut a couple zip ties looks like to get this out or at least one right here. It's actually a push button style zip tie so that's pretty nice. I didn't have to cut it. So you save that for something else or put it back on here. So let's unlock this right here just so I won't be banging it around and I'll be able to move it. So it looks like this end here is going to be our camera. Very cool. Look at the little camera. You can see the LED lights right here so it lights up and you can see down in your pipe has a nice uh, flex spring right here nice chrome or stainless steel material right here and then the big heavy cable right there so it's nice and heavy it's not going to be something you're going to kink too easy or break it definitely looks like very good quality and so does the stand real nice quality turn this around just want to show you on this end this is obviously the connection right here this is where the, the cable comes in right here connects into this junction comes out and then the wires run from it through the tube obviously through the swivel and into the case right here open the case wow very nice so this is a big nice large screen on this thing uh, 90 inch tft color monitor very good looking screen has a record button a play button menu exit button then we have a couple like a left and a right button power button and here is where your tft card goes which there's already one in it let's see what size this is so pretty small one but really for this i don't think you're not going to record hours so uh, an eight gigabyte like this is probably all you need so pretty cool i didn't know that it actually would come with the tf card a lot of them things don't but i think you always should in include one and they did nice pad in here for, to protect so it does have some storage in here like we can store our power cable and our connectors i'll show you here in a little bit but this is our power cable right here wall adapter and then you just got a jack right here to plug into the unit okay so this is really cool you just take this thing here you can slide it right over this and then you want to you want to set it more toward the front you don't want the camera probably uh, hitting the side of the pipe so you want it where it's going to go in nicely like that and we can tighten all three of these down to hold this into place and that keeps it from coming off because you wouldn't want to lose this inside your sewer pipe or drain pipe whatever you're using and then on this one of course we also have the same type screws on it this one has some wheels on it so it rolls right through the pipe real smooth that's very cool and this also is made where it's like that 
it's going to hold your camera up out of the water depending on how deep your water is in your sewer pipe or whatever you're running in this would actually help hold it up out of the water then over here we have the battery pack this is a lithium ion 12 volt 4500 milliamp hour and so the charger that comes with it i have plugged into the 110 socket over here right now and this is our jack where we we'll plug it in it is ac 100 to 240 volt puts out dc 12.6 volt at one amp or 1000 milliamp so we just plug this in right here this is going to charge our battery you can see maybe if you can see it but that light over there turned red means it's charging when it's green it is full charge so on here we have a switch to turn it on it shows us our battery power which it looks like our battery is pretty low because we only have one bar there's actually four different bars indicating the level quarter half three quarter and then full charge on the battery so this thing is pretty low definitely needs to charge up so we can turn the monitor off like that and that will actually help it charge up faster i'm sure because we're not running the monitor off our battery pack so as far as what we have on here we have of course our jack that we plug in our power then we have this jack right here which plugs in to the camera this one here is our video jack audio video and it's going to the power and the video going to the monitor right here looks like we have another av output jack right here and then over here we have the power switch which turns it on and then this little dial right here is the light degree adjustment so if you can see this light on here we're adjusting the intensity of that light so you can turn it up bright you may not want it too bright in some situations because it would be too bright on the screen right here when it's inside a pipe but you can turn it way down or turn it off either way so you can it's variable you can adjust it up pretty darn bright so it does say that this camera diameter now that's without this piece here on it is 23 millimeter of course this is waterproof you would definitely have it have to have it waterproof if you're going to be going in sewer pipes and water it's ip68 waterproof this whole unit right here this head is made out of stainless steel including the spring the camera is 123 millimeter by 23 millimeter and then our adapters we have this one right here which is a supposed to be used i guess on a 29 to 40 millimeter pipe and then this larger one here says 40 millimeter to 90 millimeter pipe and a nice cool thing like i said you can just stow away all of your accessories a little screwdriver accessories in here these are little ends in case you unplug the cables you can cap them off uh, keep your manual and everything inside here all nice and tight close it down and it's got a nice gasket around here to keep this thing waterproof so you don't have to worry about water getting into this if you did leave it in the back of the truck and it started raining on you or something you'd be good to go so it does come with this little piece of paper here to show how to use the monitor and it comes with this instruction manual which is okay but it's not great it does a good job just kind of telling you but as far as a manual it's so simple i don't know really why you'd need a manual pretty much just plug it in charge it once it's charged unplug it take the cable turn the camera on push record feed it down through a tube and you should be good to go uh, to record your video you can take this tip card out put it in your computer take it inside and view it on your computer or you can view it right here on this so if we power on this monitor and then we go to record it's going to start recording a video you see record it even has our date and time on here which is cool because if you record a lot of videos and you can kind of tell where you're at and where it was, when it was recorded by the date and time right here on the screen which will be on your video uh we want to hit stop so we'll hit hit the record button again that's going to stop our recording so if i hit record i'll put our hand over here in front of just a, for kind of a reference now we're gonna hit stop and now we have this play button that should bring it up and play the videos that we have recorded on this tip card right here so we hit play going to bring up our screen there's the one i just recorded and actually pretty darn good video it's going to go to the next video it's just kind of going to go loop through each video that i recorded that one's of course of nothing and we can hit play to stop it just like that you can see the pause button flashing i also did want to mention about this that the continuous use time of this battery pack so basically recording it is six hours you can record for six hours on this battery pack that's a long time so you shouldn't have to worry about a battery because i can't imagine you're going to be running this thing down pipes for six hours but if you did it does come with a nice charger you could charge it up you could actually run this thing off a portable power station too with a an adapter cord for that so very cool that it runs six hours on this battery
Okay, one of the things I wanted to mention was this way you pull this out. You want to run it right out through here. And then you can just reel it out just like that. Very easy to use. And also right here on the fiber cable, you can see that it says one meter. So every meter it's got a mark. And it shows you how far you went down the pipe. Uh, I wish it would be in feet and meters, but it's just meters. You can still kind of figure it out. You know, one meter is going to be around three feet. But it does indicate at least you know how far down the pipe. So if you get to something and you want to know how far that clog was, just look at your cable and it indicates right there on the cable. So that's a very nice touch. All we have to do is just take the cable and just get it right lined up. Push it right in. Like so. Then we'll set the camera back to the inside right here like this. Take our clip, lock it, and that way it's ready for storage or transportation. Okay, as we can see here, we have recorded up to three quarters charge. We don't count this bottom one, that's the power light. So we got four bars, which means three quarter. One more bar would be full charge. This would be plenty for me to do my video purpose. So let's take this thing and go ahead and try it out. And one more thing about the handles. I did mention that it does have a handle here. And also if you want to carry it, you can carry it actually by this metal tubing. This thing is made out of some nice metal strong tubing here, the framework. So it's nice and solid, but you can carry it by this. I found that it's a little bit easier just to carry it by the handle right here on top. And when you're reeling this thing in and out, you could actually set it in this way also. Uh, or lay it down. I prefer laying it down just because the screen is oriented in the right position. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this unit on. I got me a pipe right here. This is a 2 inch Schedule 40 pipe and it's probably about 15 feet long. I did go ahead and plug the other end with a bag. That way it would look more natural instead of having the light through the end of the tunnel. But let's go ahead and turn this thing on and we'll get our camera out right here. Unlock it. Turn on our monitor. And because I'm using the 2 inch pipe, I'm going to use the small adapter right here. We want to go ahead and hit the record button. So now we are recording. Stick the camera inside here. So we actually can see inside the pipe pretty good. I will actually take this card out now and I will show you what it looks like. Uh, the recorded video which will look better than you just looking from my camera to the screen. And we're going to adjust the light up of course right here. See what difference we got because that was with no light on. Uh, turn the light up. Probably going to be extremely bright. But you can see down through here there's also some I don't know what that is, some kind of fuzz <laughs> junk that's in this old piece of pipe that was laying down in the shed. And we can run this thing all the way down to the end of this pipe. Very cool. So definitely if you had a clog in your pipe, you would be able to see it with this camera. Quite a long pipe. And you can see any of the little pieces of debris here. I can kind of twist it a little bit. It's inside this old pipe. Been da laying down there for years. There's some more fuzzy junk. Some more looks like some spider webs. Maybe a spider. Or some spider nests that's in there. And of course we get to the end. There's the little bag up at the end of it. So let's pull this back out of here. And we just reel it back up, like I said, right here. We'll just push it until we get all the way reeled back in. It's very nice and convenient. Very quality made. And here's our camera back out. And now we'll get it set up and we'll try this on a different piece of pipe. I'll go ahead and set this back here so it don't try to reel out on me for right now. Turn the light down a little bit. We'll try this on a four inch pipe. 
Okay, so for the four inch pipe, we need to take this adapter off and put on our larger one. I'll take that one, store it right inside here. Okay, so now we need to take and put our larger adapter on here for the larger four inch pipe. This is a four inch schedule 40, about 10 feet long, not quite as long as the two inch pipe that I was using. So we use our larger adapter here, take our screwdriver, tighten these screws down. You don't want to tighten them super tight because they are plastic screws, but you shouldn't be able to as long as you're using the screwdriver that they provide with this. Now we got that snugged up and tight. We can turn this unit back on. Our light's already on. Screen's up. And we just set this in here. Should just roll down through the pipe like so. We want to hit the record button. Now our video is recording and I will go ahead and take this video with a TIFF card and put the actual video on here so you can see what it really looks like instead of looking at this screen right here. So this pipe has been laying down there about as long, probably probably uh, three or four years maybe for a long time. But And of course it's getting dirty. It's probably got some spider webs in it too. There's some kind of scratches or gunk there. But at least it's not raw sewage we're looking at. And works very nice on 4 inch pipe. You could actually also use this on uh, any kind of pipe. I mean, not just this. You could use it on duct work. Um, I think there's applications where you could probably use it on a vehicle or a motorcycle. Very cool. We went all the way to the end. Now we'll back this back out. Let's hit stop on the recording. Stop our recording right there. Turn our switch off. So now before this will actually go back in here very good, we need to remove this adapter right here. This one's a little larger than the other so it don't want to fit down in there with it on but it's not a problem. You should actually store it right here in the compartment anyway. I'm going to reel this back far enough that we can tuck this in right here like so. So now on our screen we should be able to just hit the play button. This is going to show us our video probably we'll have to go through the different videos Uh, there's one with the uh, four inch pipe. I went back left and right arrows. You can go to different videos, just switching through them. So now we're playing the one with the two inch pipe. Has our date and time on here. Everything real nice. And there's our one that's got the four inch pipe. So very cool. We got them all stored on here on our TIFF card ready to go. This thing is super cool. I'm really going to like it. I think it's going to come in very handy. Now if you are a, a, a landowner, property owner, like a land order or something, or you have a business, like a septic business, sewer business, plumbing, this thing would be awesome uh, to have around. Even like I said, even if you're like a landlord and you own some properties and have to work on some once in a while, this thing is going to be really nice for you. Now we're all stowed away way nice and neat. We want to clip this so this thing don't reel out any. It stops it right there. And we're ready to go. Okay guys, that is it for the Vivor 100 foot sewer camera. Very cool. Nice 100 foot cable. As I said, it's labeled too with numbers so you can tell how far you are down your pipe. Uh, multiple uses you could do with this thing. Very nice. Big screen on this thing. Good display. And it stores them on a TIFF card. Very nice and easy to handle with nice Pelican style case. Very cool. I will post a link to this below. Thank you guys for watching. Click the thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Catch you on the next one.